everybody, welcome back. August 7th, 2022. And for those of you that don't know, we are definitely under an earthquake watch, a global earthquake watch, to be more specific. And that is due to a coronal hole on the sun. In fact, if you look dead straight in the center of the sun right now, you're looking at the last 48 hours of rotation. You can see that coronal hole in the center that begins out looking like a perfect square and is not the biggest coronal hole we've ever seen. But the point is, is that it's dead smack on the equator of the sun. Now, as a reminder, what is a coronal hole? Well, a coronal hole is a temporary region of relative cool, less dense plasma in the solar corona, where the sun's magnetic field extends into interplanetary space as an open field. Now, in a nutshell, that means that these holes open up on the sun at any time of the solar cycle, and if and when these become Earth-facing, which is what this one is doing right now, it allows solar wind to leave the sun at an extremely high rate of speed, sometimes over 600 kilometers per second, and then about two days later, that solar wind begins to hit Earth's magnetic field, causing all sorts of interruptions, anything from cell phones to internet outages, power grid issues, and also, you guessed it, crust displacement or earthquakes. All right, and now to explain a little more about how this particular coronal hole is affecting Earth as you and I speak right now, basically you gotta imagine an equator across the center of the sun just like Earth has, and the way this satellite camera is lined up, the SDO, and we happen to be at the measurement of 193 angstroms, the A1A instrument of the Solar Dynamic Observatory. This is helioviewer.org, anyone can come visit this site. So basically when we see a coronal hole in this area, or even a big long one, anything that crosses the equator of the the sun. So basically, imagine the center of the sun is exactly what we'd consider Earth facing. That's why when we watch sunspots and solar flares, things like that, as you can see on the left rim of the sun right now, they will be rotating into Earth facing over the next few days. And when these launch solar flares, that's why we have to be aware of the solar wind that comes from those as well, especially when they are facing the Earth. So this coronal hole, imagine it just a big hole in the atmosphere of the sun, allowing all these particles and solar wind to shoot directly out of it. Now, this was on August 5th, which is when this became earth facing so two days later jump forward to today that is when that solar wind is now hitting earth if we go ahead and check spaceweathernews.com you could see a drastic rise in the solar wind speed over the last few hours that is a direct result of this solar wind from the coronal hole beginning to hit earth and now we are up over 550 kilometers per second and as we've discussed in many other videos that stress on the earth's magnetic field has now been proven to be the cause of earthquakes we've seen it happen time and time again strong solar wind hitting the earth and we get large earthquakes more than not in the weaker spots of earth which is along our major and smaller fault lines a quick look at the last 24 hours of seismic activity would make sense because the solar wind has just begun we had a large 6.0 earthquake technically in russia downgraded from a 6.0 to a 5.8 as well as all these other earthquakes you see along the western pacific and what you're going to see as the sun rises in other parts of the world those are likely the areas to get the most action as far as crust displacement or earthquakes again it's all about what part of the earth is facing the sun at that time of peak solar wind jumping to the last two days of earthquakes 48 hours just when the solar wind was announced we had a lot of different earthquakes that were not picked up by the usgs specifically another 6.0 downgraded to a 5.7 in western brazil three hours ago a 4.7 downgraded to a 4.6 just southeast of pakota peru and then a strong bundle of earthquakes right here along western south america which we've been talking about over the last couple of days including that giant sinkhole that opened up in chile also, let's not forget the swarm going on near Tonga and the entire fault line running from North New Zealand all the way back up to Tonga. This entire area is known for very deep, large earthquakes, Fiji, New Caledonia, and of course, where the Honga Tonga volcano exploded in January. Long story short, my friends, this is just a heads up to keep an eye out for those earthquakes. They could happen in any place at any time. And with a lot of the technology we have today, we can almost predict that type of thing with the solar wind, with the SDO cameras you see right here. Again, this is helioviewer.org. I'll leave the link in the description box and you can look at live videos of the sun all throughout the day. All right, my friends, that's it for this one. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. We'll be back here tomorrow and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.